Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to add this vintage light leaks film burn look to our clip. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get started on the video clip that we have right here, we can either apply the effect directly to the clip itself, or we can use, uh, let's say, adjustment clip um, to apply the effect. So in this case, I'm going to go with adjustment clip. I think it's much easier also to kind of show the before and after as well. So once it's set up, let's go ahead and take it directly to the Fusion page. And once we're on the Fusion page, the first thing we'll do is to bring the Fast Noise node in between Media In 1 and Media Out 1. This is where we're going to build a foundation for the Light Leaks look. And we're going to play with the following parameters. So let's start by bringing down Detail, Contrast, and Brightness. And guys, don't get too caught up on the numbers here. Uh, you can get really creative, experiment with them. Uh, so really think of this as uh, more of a guideline. Think of this as more as a reference. So moving on, we're going to bring the scale parameter down a little bit as well. And then we're going to play with the seat parameter. This is what's going to give us that movement for our lights. And we're going to keyframe it here at the first uh, frame and then go to the very last frame keyframe as well. But by moving this parameter, by adjusting this parameter, we just want to make sure that we have a good range of different movements. Another parameter that we can also play with seat rate, and this is going to determine how fast the movements are going to be. So if we go ahead and bring this all the way to the right, you're going to see that the light is moving like crazy. So uh, all we need to do is just to bring this down a little bit um, because here I don't want the movement to be that drastic. So this is looking fine. So if we go ahead and have a look at what we have right now, I'm okay with uh, the movement and, and the speed. So, uh, okay, so the next thing we'll do is to come to the color tab. And here we're gonna, under a color two, we're gonna go ahead and just pick a warm color uh, that we think will work for this effect. And then we're going to bring the brightness and contrast node in between. And here I'm going to play with the game parameter, just bring that up a little bit this as you guys will see that it will add uh, another like really nice hue to the color that we have going on here now of course you can also get creative uh, and play with other parameters like lift for example this will give it a slightly different artistic feel but for now i'm going to just stick with the game parameter okay so the next thing we'll do is to go to tools and under blur let's bring the glow node in between now here, the first thing we'll do is to bring down the glow parameter a lot because I don't want this to be too invasive. So I want it to be fairly subtle. But as you guys see that now we have this really nice warm look to it. And this really goes well with uh, this uh, vintage look that we're trying to go for here. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to build more texture, give it more dimension to our look. So the first thing we'll do is to uh, go to film and then under film, we're going to bring in the grain node in between merge one and the media out one. Uh, and here we're going to bring up the power parameter a little bit, uh, really boost the grain, the appearance of the grain and bring up the grain size as well. And then we're going to go to open FX and then under texture, we're going to bring the uh, the film damage node in between. Now here, well, the first thing we will do is actually start to bring uh, parameters like film blur, temp shift, tint shift, and geometry factor all the way down to zero because we don't want these parameters to uh, to interfere with the look that we already have. We can build a lot of this ourselves. And for our effect here, we really also don't need dirt either. So we're gonna bring the dirt density down to zero. Check off changing dirt. Now we do need scratch. This is the one thing we do need. So we're going to uh, bring the scratch position up a little bit uh, and then uh, bring down scratch strength. Also bring the uh, flickering speed uh, down a lot as well. So the idea here, we want to add scratch, but really make it subtle. And the thing with scratch is that we can add multiples very easily. So let's come to add scratch two. And then here, uh, let's actually make sure we check the enable box first. And then let's go ahead and play with the scratch position, bring down the scratch strength. And then also let's make sure we check the moving scratch box as well. And then bring the flickering down, uh, uh, the flickering speed way down. So now we have two scratches going on. And I think that uh, they add a really nice dimension to uh, to the look that we have uh, we have right here. 
Okay guys, the good news is that we're getting very close to finishing this up. So the next thing we'll do is to come to transform under OpenFX, bring camera shake node in between. Now here we just, the goal is we want to give it more movement, a little bit more shake, natural shake to our clip. So we're going to uh, start bring down motion scale uh, uh, there, bring that weight down. And uh, because we don't want the movement to be too drastic. And then same with a uh, speed scale, bring that down a little bit there. And then uh, we're also going to bring the pan amplitude uh, uh, down a little bit as well. But we're going to bring up PTR speed. So this is really going to give us a more natural shake um, to our clip. And the last thing we'll do here is just to add a vignette to our clip. So I'm going to use I'm just going to use a background node for this. And uh, all we're going to do is just to connect the rectangle masking node to the background node. And then uh, we're just going to adjust the dimensions, bring that up uh, a, a little bit there, and then hit invert, bring up the soft edge parameter a lot there. And this is going to give us that vignette look. Um, so, and guys, this is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and take this back to the edit page and have a look at the final effect. And we're going to start by turning off the adjustment clip track and just look at the original video clip that we got. Uh, that we got here and then uh now let's go ahead and turn the uh, turn the adjustment clip back on and have a look at the final effect here um so yeah guys uh, i think this is looking really good it's definitely ha it definitely has that old vintage nostalgic vibe to it and guys since this is such a creative endeavor in nature you can really you know get creative uh bring your own creativity into this and experiment with it so uh yeah i hope this helps guys and i will see you next time